This is Siddhi. Welcome to the new video. In today's video, we are going to discuss research and types of research. First of all, we will see what is research. Research is defined as careful consideration of study regarding a particular concern or problem using scientific methods. According to the American sociologist Earl Robert Babby, research is a systematic inquiry to describe, explain, predict and control the observed phenomena. It includes inductive and deductive methods. Inductive research methods analyze an observed event while deductive methods verify the observed event. Inductive approaches are associated with qualitative research and deductive methods are more commonly associated with quantitative analysis. Different types of research studies are useful across industries, fields and including biology, chemistry and other science related fields, government offices and agencies, education and business. In this video we will study about 19 types of research, fundamental and applied research, qualitative and quantitative research, mixed research, exploratory research, Longitudinal research, cross sectional research, field research, laboratory research, fixed research, flexible and action research, policy research, classification research, comparative research, causal research, inductive and deductive research. First of all, we will study fundamental research. <clears throat> fundamental or basic research is designed to help researchers better understand certain phenomena in the world. It looks at how things work. This research attempts to broaden your understanding and expand scientific theories and explanations. For example, fundamental research could include a company's study of how different product placements affect product sales. This study provides information and is knowledge based. Applied research. Applied research is designed to identify solutions to specific problems or find answers to specific questions. The research is meant to offer knowledge that is applicable and implementable. For instance, applied research may include a study on ways to increase student involvement in classroom. This research focuses on a defined problem and is solution based. Fundamental and applied research are the two main research categories. Most research can be defined as fundamental or applied depending on the goals of study. Qualitative research. Qualitative research involves non-numerical data such as opinions and literature. Examples of qualitative data may include focus groups, surveys, participant comments, observations, interviews. Businesses often use qualitative research to determine consumer opinions and reactions. For instance, a marketing organization may present a new commercial to a focus group before airing it publicly to receive feedback. The company collects non-numerical data, the opinions of the focus group participants to make decisions. Quantitative research. Quantitative research depends on numeral data such as statics and measurements. For example, a car manufacturer may compare the number of sales of red sedans compared to white sedans. The research uses objective data, the sales figures for red and white sedans to draw conclusion. Mixed research Mixed research includes both qualitative and quantitative data. Consider the car manufacturer comparing sedan sales. The company could also ask car buyers to complete a survey after buying a red or white sedan that asks how much the color impacted their decision and other opinion based question. It will be about research. Exploratory research. <clears throat> Exploratory research is designed to examine what is already known about a topic and what additional information may be relevant. 
it really answers a specific question but rather presents the foundational knowledge of a subject as a precursor to additional research often explore, exploratory research applies to lesser known issues and phenomena longitudinal research longitudinal research focuses on how certain measurements change over time without manipulating any variables for instance a researcher may examine if and how employee satisfaction changes in the same employees after 1 year 3 years and 5 years with the same company <clears throat> cross sectional research cross sectional research studies a group or sub group at one point in time participants are generally chosen based on certain shared characteristics such as age gender or income and researchers examine the similarities and differences within groups and between groups the group is often used as a representation of a large population similar to longitudinal research researchers observe participants without altering variables field research field research takes place where the participants or subjects are or on location this type of research requires on site observation and data collection for instance a manufacturing plant may hire an environmental engineering firm to test the air quality at the plant to ensure it com- it complies with all health and safety requirements the researchers would travel to the plant to collect samples laboratory research laboratory research takes place in a controlled laboratory setting rather than in the field often the study demands strict adherence to certain conditions such as elimination of variables or timing condition laboratory research include chemical experimentation and pharmacological research fixed research fixed research involves experiment procedures that are determined ahead of time such as how often testing will take place where testing will take place number of subjects and types of subjects the research depends on precise conditions and compliance with predetermined protocols to reduce variable generally fixed research is more reliable and replicable than flexible research experimentation is often fixed research for example a researcher may test how different labels affect consumers ratings of a sports drink the researcher must try to control all other variables that may affect how the participants rate the drink except the label participants are given the same drink with different labels at the same time and take a survey about taste and overall impressions the timing of giving each drink and the subsequent surveys are critical to the validity of the study flexible research flexible research allows procedures to change throughout the course of the experiment the different types of flexible research include case studies case studies are in-depth analysis and observations about a specific individual or subject ethnographic study ethnographic studies are in-depth analysis and observation about a group of people grounded theory studies grounded theory studies are designed to develop theories based on carefully collected and analyzed data action research action research refers to the process of examining your actions assessing their effectiveness in bringing about the desired outcome and choosing a course of action based on your results action research is typically used in educational settings for teachers and principal to perform a type of self assessment and course correction for instance a teacher may collect data about their methods of teaching fifth grade math at the end of that first school quarter the teacher may discover only a third of the students demonstrated proficiency in the concepts 
As a result, the teacher implements new methods in her fifth grade math class for the second quarter. Policy research. Policy research is designed to examine the effects of current government or social policies or predict the potential effects of proposed policies as those effects relate to the distribution or redistribution of the resources. Policy researchers often work within government agencies and conduct the following types of studies cost analysis, cost benefit analysis, program evaluation, needs analysis. Classification research classification, classification research seeks to identify and classify individual elements of a group into larger groups or subgroups. For example, biologists research animals and place them in defined categories based on shared characteristics such as body segment, type of habitat, reproductive methods, and diet. Comparative research Comparative research is designed to identify similarities and differences between two individuals, subjects, or groups. For instance, an owner may review new higher training documentation and discovers that new employees are receiving much of the same training at orientation and their initial departmental training. The owner may decide to incorporate all of the similar training into orientation documents to allow more time for department specific training. Causal research Causal research, also called explanatory research, seeks to determine cause and effect relationships between variables. This research is designed to identify how much one variable may cause a change in the other. Causal research is important for evaluating current processes and procedures and determining if and how changes should take place. For instance, a business may study a business may study employee retention rates before and after institution, a work from home policy, a work from home policy after six months of employment to see if this policy increases employee retention. Inductive research. Inductive research, also known as theory building research, is designed to collect data that may help develop a new theory about a process and phenomena. This type of research exama examines observations and patterns and offers several hypotheses to explain these patterns. Inductive research moves from the specific to the General inductive research is often the first step in the theory generating and may lead to a additional research such as deductive research to further test possible hypotheses. Deductive research, deductive or theory testing research is the opposite of inductive research and moves from the broad to the specific. Researchers choose a hypothesis and test its accuracy through experimentation or observation. Thanks for watching. Dear audience, see you in the next video.